The Vietcon Group is internationally known as a developer and manufacturer of machinery used in road making. At the group's plant in Windhagen, SLF Oberflächentechnik delivered a number of systems that are used in the coating process for the vehicles built here. Follow along as we tour the company's new large-scale coating installation. The front part of the hall includes a maneuvering area used for loading and unloading the machine parts. The conveyor system used here connects all of the workstations with a two-track overhead conveyor system that moves all the workpieces to their appropriate destinations using a job number. The constructions processed here have dimensions of up to 9 meters in length, 3 meters in width and 3 meters in height with individual weights of up to 20 tons. Workpieces are coated using powder coat and wet paint systems. Overall, the system includes processing parameters for 8,000 different workpieces and welded constructions. To begin, the workpieces move to one of the four preparation stations. The previously blasted workpieces are parked here for filling, grinding and masking work. The work here can be performed quite comfortably thanks to illumination levels of at least 1,000 lux and the corresponding lifting devices. Grinding dust is removed via extraction ducts embedded in the floor and these ducts have an air processing capacity of 12,500 cubic meters per hour each. Overall, the air volume here is set at 50,000 cubic meters per hour and the air is processed by a fine filtration unit that achieves a cleaning level of 97%. This unit can also be used to save heat energy in the winter by switching to recirculated air mode. To ensure that all workstations are used to their fullest capacity, the transport system has storage areas that act as buffer zones at various locations in the hall. This system expedites the supply of workpieces to two powder coating cabins, a combined spray and drying cabin, and two powder curing furnaces. Each workpiece was assigned a processing formula that includes all process data with respect to color and handling. The coatings applied to the road making machinery must have a reliable coating thickness because of the above average demands made on them. The lift unit in the 5.6 meter high cabin makes for a comfortable work environment for workers who apply the coating. In particular, the complicated geometry of the parts requires a spacious cabin with a good view of the workpiece. The surroundings are well and uniformly lit at 1000 lux and the glass walls not only serve to give the work areas a modern facade, it has also been shown that a spacious work environment increases the thoroughness and care with which work is performed. Excess overspray is extracted over collection tubs embedded in the entire floor area. The extracted air is then filtered and returned to the hall. In order to save energy, a sectional ventilation system was implemented for the cabins. This made it possible to decrease the air handling capacity necessary per cabin by 50%. In turn, the investment and operating costs for the downstream filtration systems could be drastically reduced. The second powder coating cabin was just equipped with a complicated hangar system consisting of bridge constructions and a variety of individual parts. Although a lift platform is available, the application of the powder coat between the dense rows of the workpieces is tricky. Special powder lances are used to apply the powder coat at these great heights. The workpieces now move into the curing oven. Vietkin has two such ovens in this plant. The central control unit uses a preset schedule to automatically maneuver and position the workpieces, select the temperature and open the doors. Both ovens use the convection process to heat the workpiece surfaces to the powder coat's curing temperature. The workpiece seen here has just been coated and is now moving into this conventionally designed curing oven. Temperatures in the oven can reach up to 250 degrees Celsius. 
Each oven is heated by a gas burner that indirectly heats the oven's airflow. Inside the oven, adjustable air outlets direct the heated air towards all of the workpiece surfaces, which results in a uniform temperature distribution. As an alternative, workers can also choose the second oven to heat the cabin using radiant tube heating. In this system, hot steel pipes arranged to give complete coverage of the workpiece directly transfer to the workpiece the heat necessary to cross-link the powder. This results in exceptional bonding results. Measurement devices record the temperature profile in the oven, which ensures the uniform quality of the curing process. Even indentations and negative spaces are reliably cured and hardened. An extraction flue above the gate collects the outflowing air during the loading time. Excess heat can be fed if necessary to the heat recovery system in the wet paint cabin. The third coating application takes place in the combined spray and drying cabin. Rolling doors have been installed on both of the cabin's front walls. The cabin's interior length is 14 meters, while the interior width and height are 6.0 and 5.6 meters respectively. The entire cabin housing consists of double-walled insulating panels, which contribute to the cabin's good level of energy efficiency. The overhead conveyor system also has a lifting station here in order to provide access to all sides of the workpieces. During the coating process, heated and filtered air flows downward from the filter ceiling above the workpiece and the coating technician and is then subsequently extracted via the in-floor system of ducts. The overspray is entrained in the stream of air and is fed to a heavy-duty impact separator developed by SLF. Most of these suspended paint particles are captured in these easy-to-clean floor elements, which significantly extends the service lifetime of the downstream filtration station. To reduce the amount of energy required, this installation uses a sectional air control system. Ventilation for the cabin can be switched in three sections. Compared to full area ventilation systems, this already reduces the required air handling capacity by more than 60% which saves electrical energy and the associated heating output. The settling speed of the air in the work area is 0.3 meters per second. Sectional ventilation of the work area is achieved using louvers in the ceiling that are used to provide the fresh air and the corresponding adjustment of the impact separator in the cabin floor. A heat recovery module in the exhaust air outlet improves the overall energy balance of the unit and is standard equipment in our coating installations. During flash-off periods or drying operations, the unit can be operated in recirculated air mode, during which time 50,000 cubic meters of air are recirculated per hour. During the coating process, the incoming flow of fresh air is heated to a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Recirculated air temperatures of up to 80 degrees Celsius can be selected during the drying phase. This processing line also includes a coating storage room. The terms for acceptance of the unit specify a forced ventilation system and a corresponding flow monitor with a warning system as requirements. Of course, construction regulations also specify that a storage area of this type must also satisfy the Water Resources Act. Before being transported away, the workpieces must be allowed to cool in the storage areas. After assembly, however, the workpieces return one more time to the hall equipped with technology supplied by SLF. Two finishing stations and a washing station were erected in a separate area of the hall. Let's take a look first at finishing area number one. The ready for processing vehicles enter through the rolling gate. Fresh air and exhaust air systems with a capacity of 50,000 cubic meters per hour each were installed for a cabin length of 22 meters and a cabin height of 7.5 meters. A full surface filtration ceiling and two in-floor extraction ducts make it possible to perform minor coating repairs on the construction machinery. In finishing area number two, we see a double-wide cabin whose width is 14 meters. Because this area sees more assembly work and less use of paint, the cabin's air handling system has a somewhat reduced capacity of 30,000 cubic meters per hour. 
Finally, the washing station is located right next to the finishing areas, and here, a high-pressure cleaner is used to remove production residue. The fresh air and exhaust air fans each have a capacity of 20,000 cubic meters per hour. In addition to the ventilation system, the equipment here includes a vapor removal system, which runs along the hall ceiling. When one takes the opportunity to look around the second floor of the overall hall unit, the scope of the investment in ventilation equipment quickly becomes clear. A multitude of filters, air heaters, sensors and control dampers perform their functions automatically and provide for optimal working conditions at Wirtgen. When would you like to meet with us so that SLF Oberflächentechnik can design and implement a system to meet your needs? <laughs>